hello, hello. It's Wellness Wednesday and oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> as always, I come here with a little bit of a sunshine and just with a little bit of nuggets and information to help your days be better. And that is my goal every time I come here. Every Wednesday seems to be kind of miraculous and um, I get a little insights from God, the more I become patient and avoid and, and delay instant gratification, the more I can see the fruits and the joy that is that, that life has to bring to us. But it's all about creating awareness. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope, um, I hope you're starting your day with health and wellness. And I hope today is going to give you a little bit more uh, insights for today. So what have you, let me ask you, what have you noticed in your life that has been closing doors or opening doors? Um, let me know in the comments if you have seen and felt it's like, oh my gosh, these doors closing, why it, I can't get to that place? Or why is there so many red lights on my way to work or um, why am I getting so many breakdowns in my life about the things around my house uh, or maybe why am, can I not get through this or that. Uh, let me know in the comments what is happening in your life right now. What do you feel that is keeping you stuck? I would love, love, love to know. Um, so. I want to share with you some things that have happened around uh, these last days um, because I feel that we're always all in together, right? Everything that happens is happening on, like, it's not only happening to us or for us, but it's happening to so many more people around us. We just need to be open to have conversations and dig a little bit with other people and ask some questions. And you will notice that whatever you're struggling, you're not alone. And the more aware you become of what you're doing um, and or not doing, and you put more intention of the things that you want to create, then that is what uh, is going to help you find the results or the success in the area that you want. Because this is not only applying to your health, and I'm I'm most important I most uh, talking about health and wellness because when we take charge intentionally of the actions that we take for our health then that immediately starts rippling effect to all the things that are surrounding us in all areas in our life but if the core the base is not well then everything else around us is going to detonate or there's like little bombs going to be firing up all around us letting us know that something needs to be taken care of and usually that is our mindset is our body is our health and when things are going wrong outside go inward i like to say that always um, go inward to look at your habits the way that you're eating the way that you're treating yourself the way that you're talking about yourself the people that you're relating with, the things that you're bringing into your environment, what are you permitting, what are you allowing, and what are you um, blocking? Because everything is energy. So when we open the energy receptors and we become high vibrant, like energy, cushion, cushion, then we allow for more things to happen. And it starts creating um, some awareness in you, but it's like having intention. So let's say, for example, you are feeling a little bit a block of energy and you feel tired. Maybe you're not having the, well, the conversations that you would like with your family members or in your relationships or with others, or you might have some breaking uh, like breakdowns in the cars, um, like I had this Monday and I will share with you, 
but things happen for us and when we start changing our mindset that oh why did that break now i cannot go to somewhere so let me share with you a little story about monday so that you can understand what happened so monday i had an appointment uh, to go with someone at eight o'clock in the morning and it was 10 minutes before eight and i go into my car and i try to start it and it's like oh it's not turning it's not turning and i kept going it was obvious that it was going to be dead battery so i tried again i said please go go but it's like actually it was good that it was dead in my garage not somewhere else so someone who is not in a high energy or positive mindset would have said um screw it right i don't get to my appointment i have to cancel uh, my day is ruined, I cannot do anything right, um, so let me know in the comments if those thoughts come to you when something breaks down. I have learned through all the little mindset things and everyday uh, morning routine and how setting yourself for success every day, now is like, oh, I do not close my doors. Actually, this is a way to open other doors. And let me explain why. So what I did instead, instead of saying, oh, this, my day is ruined, I said, okay, who, who can help me get to where I need to go? I needed to go to Starbucks to have meet with someone for an appointment at eight. So I called my neighbor right away and I said, hey, um, where, are you, where are you right now? can um are you driving kids around and she says yeah i'm about to come home and i'm about to take my other set of kids to the school i said ah oh, can i catch a ride with you she said of course so she says i'm around the corner i'll be there in a minute so then she came and picked me up and we're good friends so we needed to talk about certain things and in that ride of 10 minutes, we were able to catch up on the things that I wanted to share with her and the things she wanted to share with me. So uh, that was a win-win for both and we compressed time. And then I get to my coffee uh, appointment and the conversation was amazing. Uh, you can say it like it was meant to be in that moment and she lives around the corner from me so it's, it's like she could have picked me up but we didn't know in the moment right so i'm saying this because things happen and then i said well uh is it okay for you to just drop me off at the car where they can take me home and then they can jump start my heart car and like she said yes of course so then i went there and i came home with this little uh, young 21 year old and I was sharing him a message of how things can be working out in life. And I shared a little bit about my coaching and I shared a little bit about my vision about life. And he helped me jumpstart my car. And then he said, hey, can I say something? Um, he said, you're a beautiful woman without insulting, right? And that was a really nice gift. I took it very nicely because I feel that when we share uh, things for others that can brighten their day a little bit, like maybe sharing this message with you, um, can open up doors. So instead of seeing closing doors and shutting down because one thing did not work, what if that opens doors to so many connections, so many conversations, so many opportunities to meet the person that you might need in life to answer the question or to give you an open door for the next thing that you need in life. So for me, it was an eye opener and awareness. And let me charge, but let me put my, uh, connect my charger. Hold on. Uh, sorry, I should have turned this on before, but <laughs> we are here live and this is real life. So, um, now, now my battery is charging. So it's taking every opportunity that is led in life. And I think that is the way God is majestically synchronizing or orchestrating things for us to happen. 
have you heard about like maybe you're in a car accident or some or you see a car accident and then you maybe you have been asking for some prayers or asking for something and if you just delay your instant gratification and go help that person maybe that connects you to something else that is going to answer that prayer that you have been had for so long and it's it's answered in a second because you made a connection you opened the door and that is how i'm seeing god speak through us in miraculously ways um it's it's really truly amazing so i um i want to share with you like five things that you can do consistently to get yourself into the energy that you want um to be more in tune to the reception of what God or the universe, whatever you believe in, to be receptive of you so that you can receive the answers. And that is part of creating health. Creating health is being in alignment with our body, with our spirit, with our soul, with our mind, in all the things that we're doing and acting in accordance to one single line and not having the battle of having to deal with uh, turning off fires in your life maybe you're feeling like you're turning off fires all around and that is only to help you create awareness it's like how much longer are you going to wait to start taking the action to take care of yourself because when things are kind of feeling like out of control outside are just little signs to let you know is like what do i need to start taking inside what are the things that need to start taking care of inside so um in a lot of the times the answers i was saying is like communicating with others um, i read this little quote from dr hyman he's all into health and wellness and living uh, 120 years that's his goal he says connectivity to others is a necessary ingredient for health life uh, like food water air sleep and movement so it's so so imperative that we start making better human connections surrounding ourselves with better community uh, with better communities of like-minded women or like-minded people who can help us get up leveled right if you're feeling stagnant if you're feeling like nothing is working in your life um, or maybe some areas in your life that you're feeling stuck i suggest and i advise you to start opening your doors to start um, going into new circles of people maybe with a sport that you're doing maybe um, with uh, playing cards maybe networking maybe just walking around the block and being open to a conversation with someone that a neighbor that you meet uh, that also i i want to share a second story with you about that but being open to what is present and what is going around your surrounding that is the little signs that are talking to you because those that is the way that when you um, resonate when you align your body and you are aware of what's happening around you you will see so many answers coming so before I share that other story with you I want to tell you five things that you must do in the morning so that you start aligning your um, your healing, your alignment with yourself. So one is hydration. I really recommend you to start hydrating. It's amazing. Uh, when we hydrate, it's like we allow that energy to just flow and feel like you're in the river, in the ocean, and just inside your body, right? We need that hydration. Number two, are you doing any movement movement is important movement is life so remember to take to integrate movement in your morning routine number three is sit in silence for a little bit sit in silence because then you open the doors to 
receive the messages of the day. Receive whatever is in store and just give you peace of mind. Number four, um, I like to journal. Journal is very, very important. And I have a little journaling prompt that if you want that, uh, comment in the comments below and I can share with you a link with that journal prompt because it's very, very important to start creating a habit of journaling because that way you start creating the life that of your dreams, the life that you want. And number five, um, environment. Start cleaning out your environment. Start cleaning the people that you're relating with and start having more deep conversations with other new people. When you bring fresh blood, fresh inspiration, that kind of sparks a little um, like match for your fire and um, it kind of sparks that magnet of oh I can burn a fire and the fire is warm and it brings so many other sparks so one thing lights another and a another and another and there's so many more ideas sometimes when we are feeling stuck it's like we're not having excitement in our life we don't we don't have new ideas. We're kind of stuck into that you know, same old, same old. So when you start expanding and having other conversations, they're like, oh yeah, I really resonate with that and that and that. And then uh, ideas come. So with that, I want to share a second story with you um, about this morning. I tell you, Wednesdays are amazing and I like to go for walks. So last Wednesday, I went to a little walk to the lake and I came back and right outside my house was a lady that I have seen a, long, a lot of times walking like crazy maniac with her two little puppies and a stroller. But this time she was without the stroller and she was more at peace and we encountered. So we had a conversation and oh my gosh, it like that was a spark. So we decided that we wanted to talk more and we set that appointment to talk today. So today I had uh, given myself ample time to really spend some time with her. because so I believe that human connection is so important, I've, I've been saying, and it's also very important to avoid Alzheimer's and dementia. Human connection is priority to uh, mental health. Because when we start feeling isolated, we start not eating, we start depriving ourselves, and then that is when all the issues start and our health and mental issues start. So we do not want to live into that mentality. We want to avoid all that. So we want to create more community. So connection. So we started talking today. We said, okay, let's talk and walk, walk and talk today. So we started that walk and talk. She invited me for coffee. We had a conversation and now my head is spinning. There's so many ideas that we could probably do together, but that sparked from one conversation. And you guys, this is magical. So I would love to see, to hear from you. What have you done in your life? What, um, what new encounter have you had the past year? maybe the past two years um, or the past month that has motivated to do something fun, to do something new, to something, to discover a new way of doing things, maybe a new way of eating, a new way of sleeping, maybe a new way of connecting, maybe a new way of traveling, maybe a new way of um, experiencing your life in a different way. If there is anything that has you have encountered that has made the change, what is that for you? I would love to hear in the comments. What has that been for you? Um, today, I'm telling you without these conversations, my head is spinning so many ideas that I think God is speaking through me and through these actions. Um, to lead me to places that I don't even know where they are going to. But I can just feel it and I feel, when you feel good in your gut as women, uh, we know what the steps we need to take. So one recommendation for you and a little tip for you is like, 
you know when things are right for you to make a decision if it's whether a yes or a no in your life. Your body tells you. So don't allow your brain to say no um, to something. It's like before, before paying attention to what your brain wants, ask your body, is this right for me right now? And let your body answer. That is called, um, um, I forgot the name, but it, that, that is called kind of energy connection with your body. And when you allow your body to say a yes or a no, then respect that because that is the body knows best. The body has an internal wisdom that it will tell you what is best for you. And as, a, as moms, we have that gut wisdom, that intuition that we know exactly what to do. When we fail to pay attention to those signs, it's when things start going wrong. So, um, and what happens is we block those receptors when we're not paying attention to the food that we're eating, to the rest that we're having, to the interactions. Some negative talks that we have with people is like, Avoid those, or not avoid, but put your boundaries so that they do not affect you. And also the products that we're bringing to our home that are toxic are blocking from our natural receptors of taking care of our health. So everything, um, everything impacts everything else. So the message again for you today is to learn how to become more aware of what you're doing and the importance of human connection for our health and mental state um, so that we do not reach a phase of dementia and Alzheimer's. Everything we do today, tomorrow, and we teach our kids is what is going to lead us to a healthy, uh, vibrant, uh, aging state versus an isolated state. So what are you doing today to to be there what is your goal of aging so picture yourself like at 80 years old who do you want to see there then you start backing up with like what are the actions that i'm taking today that are going to lead there so with that i have um i want to leave you with um the action step is like take care and just um if you want to make any changes in your life and you have and you want to discover really what what are your gaps where are you missing what is happening i urge you to have a conversation with someone or with me to kind of learn the next step learn what is missing in your life learn what can be ignited so that you can live a better life that you can live a quality of life that you deserve and that you want thank you so much for listening and i as always i have i hope you have a blessing day and please share this message with someone that needs to listen i i think that one spark can ignite another and another and another so i uh, if this was helpful for you, let me know in the comments what are you taking away and be able to share this message with others. Thank you so much and have a be beautiful day ahead.